Hey guys, it's Freak. Diablo 4's expansion Vessel of Hatred comes out on October 8th. So far they've been pretty stingy with the details, but this week we got some more information that they were waiting to release at Gamescom. Huh. I don't even think I'm going to buy the expansion. I don't even care about loot anymore because I just brick every good item that I get. Well, don't you worry, because that's one of the changes I'm most excited about. Blizzard has heard our frustrations, and they are introducing an item that will allow for more tempering attempts or some kind of a reset. So no more completely bricking items is the way that I understand it. So thank you, Blizzard. Worst part of the game. Huh, well, I'm still not paying 40 bucks just so I don't completely tailspin in a state of dread every time a good item drops. Huh. Oh, there's a lot more too, just, just hang on. So we already knew that there's a new zone called Nahantu and a new class called Spiritborn, but there's enough information about each one of those things to have its own separate video. So please stay tuned because there's going to be more information to come next week. Yeah, but no Paladin, so D4 bad. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I know, but... They've all but confirmed that Paladin will come in due time, so... And on, I mean, honestly, the Spiritborn theme fits better with this X-Pack, and it's kind of cool to get something new. I, I don't know. I mean, I want the Pally just as much as you do, but, you know, in my opinion, I think they nailed it. It looks, it looks super dope. Super dope. But anyway, they did just give us more details about some other stuff, so let's keep going. Let's keep going. So, for example, mercenaries look really cool. I'm sure they'll be useless potatoes like they were in D2 and D3. Well, they look pretty badass, actually. They call themselves the Pale Hand, and there are four to choose from. So, it looks like what you do is you hire one of these mercenaries to be your direct companion, and then you get to pick one of the other three to basically reinforce one or more of your skills by triggering what they're calling an opportunity. So, the example that they gave is that... When you're hit by a control impairing effect, theoretically you could assign one of the mercenary's own skills to that action or result, and then he or she could come swooping in and perform whatever attack was assigned to that action. So each companion has two different skill trees to choose from and a progression system where you can earn what they're calling rapport that gives you what's called pale marks so that you, you know, you use that to, um, unlock the new mercenary skill trees. Okay, that does sound pretty cool, but what about endgame stuff? Oh, so endgame? Well, I'm glad you asked, but I have a feeling this next part is going to be extremely controversial. Oh, hell yeah, D4 bad, baby, let's go! Alright, let me try to summarize here. So, there's this new co-op only dungeon with three wings called the Dark Citadel that's available once you reach the endgame. So it is a multiplayer only activity, which brings in the controversial part, but you need at least one other person for, but it sounds like it's best to bring four. It's a max of four because if you bring two, it won't decrease the difficulty like maybe some of the other content. Uh, it's meant for four players, but again, you can do it with as little as two. There will be puzzles and traps and somewhat difficult bosses to beat, I guess, kind of like maybe you're in a WoW raid or something. And it sounds like there will be some specific rewards tied to this activity. And I'm hoping those are mostly cosmetic. So, like, if you do end up having to group up for this, the pure solo players won't just, like, lose their minds. Lots of speculation here, and we'll find out more soon. Like, I'm going to spam trade like a hillbilly just to find friends to add to make a party. Okay, I do. I, I agree with you on this. I do agree with you on this, that... Partying up is just, it's just a pain in the ass right now. So you'll be extremely happy to know that what they're introducing is a new party finder. And I'm really excited about this. So a couple of things to notice here is that they've photoshopped out the level. So I'm guessing the rumors of a new level cap of 60 are true. And also if you notice here, it designates Tormented 1 which there's never been a one after Tormented before, so perhaps they're adding some higher difficulties for the open world, maybe like a tier five, maybe they're reimagining the whole thing. We're not really sure yet. It's again, speculation, um, but we should find out a little bit more next week in the camp ch campfire chat, which August 29th, I think. Okay, wait a minute, so there's new level caps. New systems. I mean, I'm gonna have to relearn everything that I know. Maybe. Wait, I thought you said you weren't going to buy the X-Pack. I mean, what do you think that I lurk around here just for no reason? I mean, I'm not a 
psychopath. Fair enough. Well, the last thing that they recently revealed was an area they called the underbelly of Karast Undercity. So kind of a mouthful there. So Blizz called it an intense new multi-stage time attack dungeon, perfect for leveling towards end game content and targeting powerful items to help you progress. Sounds sounds good. So to me, it kind of sounds like maybe like an infernal horde type of a mode, but instead of just standing in one room, you're like on multi levels or something like that. You're still time. You pick up a resource and you spend that resource at the end. And the better you do, the more stuff you get. I mean, honestly, it sounds pretty sick. I'm here for it. Even if it is a rendition of the infernal hordes, you know? So that's it guys. I do plan on making another video covering everything that we learned during the campfire chat next week and I'll package it all up along with everything else that we know so far. So we have a, you know, a complete what's coming in the expansion video. So please, you don't want to miss it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you. Why should anybody like and subscribe to you when they can just watch Rex? Uh, good question.